Hello and welcome to Waltham Abbey Football Club. This afternoon, this pitch will play host to a very special game. On the one hand, you have the Spurs Legends 11, and on the other, a bunch of celebrities who've never played together before. And that's why we're here, to see if legendary footballer Cliff Jones can pull together these boys for 90 minutes. That's how we clean them years ago. <laughs> oh, we just saw you banging out your boots, getting ready to go. Now, is there a chance you might be coming on as a uh, no as a chance? Today? No, 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 definitely no chance. So I'm, <laughs> I'm just, I've just gone past a bit. I just sort of the only boots I put in was my golf shoes, and uh, <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm gone past this. But I'm looking forward, to it and I'm looking forward to being with the boys, and uh, I'm sure. I now know one thing I will get from the boys is 100% enthusiasm, and there's no substitute for that. Uh, Phil Cornwell, uh, actor, comedian, broadcaster, that's what they always say. I, personally, I think I should be had under the Trade Descriptions Act for that, but anyway, uh, I'm going to be playing up front and I'll probably get the perfect hat trick today. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, left foot, header. Oh, it's about six goals. But what does it mean to you today to be here? You know, you're going to be playing against some of, some of the biggest names at the club. <laughs> I don't know, no, it's great. It hasn't really sort of sunk in yet, I suppose. I haven't seen any of them yet. Uh, maybe they won't even show up. They'll be too afraid, I imagine. <laughs> Stanley Cornwell. Stanley Cornwell. Who is a, a great centre-back in the making. Well, I think if the fitness levels are sort of going to be anything to go by, he might be on the pitch later I told on. him that. I told him that. He might have to come on and do a job. <laughs> Just sit, be a bit of a libero, you know, sit in front of the back four, <laughs> break things up, because he'll go and break things up. Yeah. I'm Paul Hawksby from TalkSport Radio and uh, today I'm apparently playing at the back but it depends how physical Mark Falco gets, I could go hiding. Are you yeah. excited for this afternoon? Yeah, really looking forward to it. I don't mean, all of us would say, you know, we're, we're not great. There's one or two boys on here who can play a bit, who play regularly, but most of us are kind of the wrong side of 40 now. But just to play against the guys that we grew up watching is just an honour to be on the pitch. And have Cliff Jones as our, our manager, he's a great honour as well. So we're in, the, uh, we're in the main changing room area, is that right? Do you want to take us through to where the teams yeah, will sure. be? Let's have a little look. This is the Waltham Abbey pub pit. Excellent. Very Celtic, but I like it. Yeah, the match was announced, I think, last November. They were supposed to be training, but I heard up to a couple of weeks ago they hadn't even bought boots. <laughs> this is where the Spurs legends will be. I mean, they're, they're going to bring their own kit home. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Mike Lee, I uh, produce and uh, co presenter the Spurs show. Um, here we are for the big game, I'm playing in goal. So uh, I'm going to be kept busy, certainly get a bad back. And it's quite ironic that next to the ground there's a cemetery. But I think my, my, one of us might actually show up uh, after or during the game. You know, fat boy in goal, that kind of thing, no one else wants to play in goal. It's always the weird one in goal, I'm in goal. Good stuff, well Cliff, very... Uh, very excited, very focused. Yes, he thinks yes. you might be able to pull a surprise win out of the bag. Deluded, <laughs> utterly deluded. There's players on our team that have literally not kicked a ball in about six, seven years. What was your main main reason for putting this putting this event together? Um, my son-in-law has got a twin brother, Alex, and um, his daughter has been diagnosed autistic. She's three years old. She's been on a, a program that you have to sign up to. It's it's you know it's an expensive thing to to get involved in. We had a Spurs Legends evening last November, and Gary Brook attended, and he broached the uh, you know the subject and said, "Look, we 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 delight to come along and give our services for nothing if you want to arrange a game." So that's what we did. Hi, I'm Paolo Hewitt. I'm an author, and I will be an impact sub coming on in the last 10 minutes to score the winner in uh, extra time. I'm Rob White, uh, son of uh, John White. Um, I've just written a book about my dad, actually called The Ghost of White Hart Lane. And I will, ideally I'd love to be playing up front, but I think I'm going to get stuck at the back. Now earlier on we caught up with Mike, who's going to be in goal. Now, I mean, these players are ex-professional Tottenham Hotspur players. A couple of them, some are really, really important strikers. So as you would expect, his training for this is extremely important. So I mean, which you can have a glimpse of, this is really important, this is real technical stuff. As you can see, we've assembled a, a team of strike force here. It's really, really getting a good work out there. Safe hands, very, very safe hands. Now I'm going to find somebody else. I'm moving over here to Tony. Tony, you run in, receive the ball. Pass it to somebody else, 
and move. That's it. Paul, you're inside, son. Come on, look lively. Don't come in from you pass it in! What's going on lads? What are you running for? Don't run! What's going on here lads? What are you doing Paul? You pass it! I thought the ball was coming to me then. I think they think they were part of it. They got it going on. They got it going on now. What was a relatively or should be a relatively simple training exercise has turned into uh, yeah quite an event. Yeah, Theo Delaney, film director, um, hoping to hardly play at all, uh, if at all probably at the back for between three and five minutes. Uh, very nervous, very worried. I noticed Cliff was saying, make it quick, make it simple, which is kind of Arthur Rowe's credo, and Bill Nick, you know, so it never leaves you, you know, it's ingrained in Cliff there, and, and that's the way to play football, I believe that too. If only I could. Fellow! I think they've got a lot of hopes pinned on you this afternoon. I didn't know hopes on Roy the Rovers is here. Roy the Rovers is here. We yeah, have no exactly. fear. I know. I said a lot, oh, a lot of the man hasn't played shoulders. since he was 15. Oh, no. at, least, at least I've got a subtle boots. Look at the boots. Now uh, the uh, the boys are over there. They're getting ready. They're all excited. They're raring to go. Are you ready? We are for the ready. attacking force that yeah, is coming that way. Yeah, I believe there is a, a good attacking force I've got today. So uh, pitch is a level playing field. So it uh, <laughs> should be interesting to see a few uh, few bobbles going up. So no, be good, be good Excellent. game, be good Fantastic. game. Fantastic. Now, yeah. do you have a little uh, prediction in mind of what you're hoping to? Uh, to I think do? we'll go three or four. What do you think the uh, the challenge is going to be like? Have a little, have a little look at them. Oh, it should be all right. They look fit enough, but um, it's mainly for the charity today, isn't it? I mean, it's just a bit of fun and. Uh, as long as we beat them, we'll be all right. Uh, Ian Walker, are you expected to be tested uh, today from this mean-looking celebrity 11? Hopefully not. <laughs> no. Um, I'd like it was nice and quiet. It's a bit chilly though, so I might have to keep warm somehow. Bit of wind in the air as well. Yeah, a bit of wind in the air, a bit of wind in the hair. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Prediction, what do you think the score's going to be today? I don't know, if you get under 40, if they keep it down to under 40, I'd be happy. It'd be, be a great good day, <laughs> good day at the office, I think. 13-1 to the legends team. Oh, that's that. That's quite low. That's quite a low. Really? Well, Phil, Phil Cornwall was, was sort of. He said anything under 40, he'd be particularly particularly happy with. Can we get a little prediction from you? Been asking people what they think the score's going to be. <laughs> well, looking at us, I think we should win about five. About five. Yeah, five. I think our, our aim is to try and keep it in the, in the double figures, let alone single figures. <laughs> it looks like they're going to play an old say though. Oh, hey, look, they ain't going to match them uh, with, with a bit of the because you know, like, it's in their profession. But what are we going to match them? It's to use that and work with it. Midfield sort of is just the about sort of working, trying to keep the ball. That's the hard thing for me is keeping it. So that's what we're looking for the midfield to support and then when they've got the ball, play it up to the front players and go and support the front players. We're not gonna match them for ability, we know that. Uh, any chance of, of, of getting a shot on, just get the shot in. We all say if you don't buy rapidly, you don't you don't win nothing. In walkers and goals, we've got a chance there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, keep them on the ground, yeah. <laughs> so just go out there and just, you know. Add that bit of pride in yourself out there, and, uh, and hey, just give them a just give them a good game, and uh, we you can say, are we going to beat them? Hey, why not? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, yeah. 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 come on!
<laughs> They're starting to tie now, Spurs, and I think we've got them on the run. Absolutely. I think second half we're going to come at them strongly, and I think it's going to be half come which is one. Excellent. I think for the first 45 minutes you can clearly see they've got a better touch of the players and they look a better side, but the Celebrity 11 still very much in it and I think the second half could be totally different. A good first half. And these stand to tell you something now. Yeah. Go and yeah. get a goal. Yeah. Yeah. Go, let's work and keep it a bit. But Johnny, I'll tell you what, very pleased, proud of you lad. You really give me 100%. percent can not ask any more than that. Are we going to see a bit more from the celebrities in the second half? Yeah. I think they're a bit overcome by all their footwork at the Spurs. I know, yeah. They've still got it. Tactics are now to get as many of the subs on as possible. At Excellent. the moment we've got 15 players on. Good. I'm not going to get a few more on. Good. I can see a sort of them making some sort of difference in this game. Here we go. The officiating has been even the even the rest guide dogs sort of. Yeah, it's been good, really good, really good day and uh, fantastic calls and uh, great crowd, great crowd. Yeah. I think, you know, I made several crucial saves in the first half yeah, and uh, obviously that gave us confidence to go on and win the game. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a bit cold actually in the first half, so that's why I decided to come out and play a bit in the second half. So. I would say I had a blinder. Uh, I ran around a lot, I knew I could do that. Brookie's passing first half, he was like a magic robot, just pinging it about. And uh, you can tell, you know, Stuart Nevercott's pinging it everywhere, David Owls has only just packed up. So A lot of uh, controversial tactics, but we liked it. Yeah, well, I think we had 13 players on at the end. There was 14 of them. <laughs> yeah, there are. 45 plus year old men and you know with beer bellies but they still got it, do you know what I mean? So we should have had a penalty as well. Stonewall, Stonewall penalty. Stonewaller. Then it would have been 8-2. <laughs> Bring on second leg mate. Exactly. <laughs> but everybody has had such a good day. You happy with how it's turned out? Yeah, it's been fantastic. I mean a good good support from the community and all the Spurs family really. I mean the stand was pretty much full wasn't it? It was all people around here. It was great. It was. It's probably the biggest crowd I've had at Walsall Abbey for a long time. There was a period in the second half we were totally on top. And then the referee gave the most diabolical decision and we should have had a penalty. Changed the game. Changed the game completely yeah. and um, I've had a chat with my chairman and uh, on the display of the team today, yes, they give me another five-year contract. Fantastic. How about that? That's Thank great. you very much. Hey. It was great. So Cliff and his boys didn't get the result that they were hoping for, but at least it wasn't 40 nil like Phil thought it was going to be. Our celebrities had a great time and everybody here raised over £5,000 for charity. In the end though, seems like those Spurs boys just had a little bit too much quality. They've still got it. <laughs>